Jakarta was tense today in the wake of the worst riots the city has seen in 20 years. Soldiers armed with automatic weapons and backed by armored vehicles guarded key intersections, as well as government and commercial buildings, which had been the target of much of the weekend violence. More than 20 buildings were set ablaze, including banks and the agriculture ministry, when thousands of mostly young people ran amok through the city centre. The army said two people died and scores were injured. The rioting had continued sporadically throughout yesterday, the Indonesian fleet using water cannons and wielding canes indiscriminately according to onlookers in order to break up the protests. More than 200 people have so far been arrested. The rioting began on Saturday after police stormed the headquarters of the Indonesian Democratic Party, a small opposition organization. The building had been occupied by supporters of Megawati Sukarno Putri, who was ousted from the party leadership by government-backed opponents last month. Megawati, the popular daughter of Indonesia's first president, Sukarno, was today consulting party colleagues about her next move, blaming the violence on her government-backed opponents. But the government hinted today the police may question hair about the disturbances. Megawati has become the focus for a wide range of groups demanding democratic change, and the speculation the security services are preparing a wider crackdown against the opposition. Nervous financial markets worried about political instability here, went into free fall this morning, though the Jakarta Stock Exchange recovered a little before closing down 4%. With hundreds of soldiers still deployed in the city centre tonight, the army has again said it's determined to restore public order at all costs. Ian Williams, Channel 4 News, Jakarta.